What is particle network? So to answer this question, I think it's important to start with the tagline for particle network. Particle network is the intent centric modular access layer of Web3. Okay, so what does this actually mean? What is the intent centric modular access layer of Web3? I think to start, it's important to build some context about our core flagship product. This product is Particle Wallet as a Service, or WAS for short. Particle's Wallet as a Service aims to not only accelerate adoption, but evolve user onboarding and interaction with the blockchain. It achieves a streamlining of onboarding and interaction through three main components. The first is Particle Auth. Particle Auth, across a huge variety of EVM chains as well as Solana, can directly facilitate login and onboarding to applications through familiar means, like your Google account, your email, your phone number, your Twitter account, your Discord, etc. In essence, Particle Auth enables in-app embedded and customizable authentication through social logins. These familiar social logins for EVM can either result in an EOA wallet or an account abstraction smart account. And this is paired directly with the Particle wallet. Particle's wallet uses a seedless key management mechanism called MPC TSS, multi-party computation threshold signature scheme. And in simple words, this enables social logins without the need for a central seed phrase. So a user can onboard through Particle Auth and then interact with the blockchain directly with Particle Wallet. This entire process and flow can be facilitated through a variety of connection kits. Particle Connect, Rainbow Kit, Web3 Modal, and Particle is even natively available within Solana's wallet adapter. Okay, so at this point, I've talked a lot about Particle WAS, Particle's wallet as a service. I think it's also important to showcase visually what this onboarding and utilization process looks like. So in this case, I'd like to quickly use an example from our web demo. This will be linked below, but you can also find it at web-demo.particle.network. I've chosen to show you our Rainbow Kit example. So we'll head over here and click on Connect Wallet. And in here, as you can see, there are a variety of options. The first four of which all stem from Particle. So we have the overall Particle option here, as well as shortcuts to Google, Apple, and Facebook. And of course, this is all directly alongside other wallets like MetaMask, Rainbow, Trust Wallet, Argent, etc. So in this case, let's go ahead and select Particle. There's a huge variety of different authentication mechanisms you can use, from your phone number to Facebook, Google, GitHub, Discord, etc. But in this case, I'll go the simple route and just use my email address. And then I'll click on Send Code, and I'll go ahead and input my code here. And as you can see, I actually just created a completely fresh wallet with that email address. I have just the standard Rainbow Kit Connect UI here. So you can see my address here, zero ETH, I have the network dropdown as well. And then of course, we also have the wallet pop up right here. Particle is embedded natively within applications, meaning that you never have to actually leave the website to interact with your Particle wallet. You don't even have to integrate a UI like this, as Particle is completely modular and customizable, meaning developers can integrate the Particle tech stack or Particle WAS in whatever way that meets their specific application. Let me actually show you an example real quick. So this is Apex Pro, a trading application that's natively integrated Particle, although you might not know it immediately at first, as they integrate Particle in a way that's very specific to the Apex application. Let's give it a try by clicking on Connect Wallet. I'll go ahead and log in with the email that I just registered with. I'll send over the code and I'll throw that code into here. And as you can see, I'm now logged in. It actually logged me into a smart account as Apex natively uses account abstraction for things like gasless transactions. So they chose exactly what type of account I logged into. And as you can see, they've actually built out a custom UI and app for this. And this is all facilitated natively through Particle Network's account abstraction stack to enable gasless transactions. I'd also like to briefly highlight the source code of the Rainbow Kit web demo that we just looked at a moment ago. As you can see here, it's a very standard Rainbow Kit setup with the inclusion of the Particle Network master variable from Particle Auth, as well as Particle Wallet from our Rainbow Kit extension. As you can see, all the configuration happens right here, the project ID, client key, the default chain, and even the Boolean here to dictate whether that widget UI that I just mentioned a moment ago is displayed on the page or not. And it's added right here directly alongside a variety of other wallets. It's very standard, very quick, whether you're using EVM or Solana with Solana's wallet adapter, it just takes a few Few minutes to set up within your own application. Okay, so we've explored a lot of the intricacies of Particle's wallet as a service. But to quickly conclude here, where does the intent-centric component of this come in? Well, what we just looked at was actually the core component of our V1 product. The majority of this will transfer over to Particle Network V2 because the main change that we're making with Particle Network V2, which we just announced two weeks ago in Singapore, is the shift from WAS, wallet as a service, to ZK WAS, zero knowledge proof wallet as a service. This shift comes with things like confidential authentication, and confidential transactions to introduce intrinsic privacy to Particle's WAS product. Additionally, with V2, we're taking the next step in user interaction through the introduction of our Intent Fusion Protocol. At a very high level, Particle's Intent Fusion Protocol enables a user to express a desired outcome, something that they want to achieve. For example, they want to earn yield on an asset. Typically, this would require base level, raw, and sequential interaction with the blockchain. With the usage of intents within our Intent Fusion Protocol, a user very simply just expresses that they want to achieve this certain thing. Within the Intent Fusion Protocol, this intent is then deconstructed, signed, and executed on behalf of the user. So in the back end, it's figuring out what steps need to happen to achieve the desired outcome, and then executing those. So with Particle Network V2, 
We're taking this existing focus on user experience and bringing it to the next level with the introduction of privacy as well as intent-centric interaction. If you'd like to learn more about it, I'll have a link to our announcement article below. I'm super excited to support both EVM developers and Solana developers in essentially effortlessly enhancing the user experience of their application through integration with Particle. This week, I plan to release another video diving into the actual implementation of Particle across a variety of different chains and platforms. But while you're waiting for that, I'll have a variety of resources that you can use to learn more about Particle linked below.